Hello, dear Sheikh Luqman. Barakallah Fiq. I'm a young lady living alone. I go on weeks without any real human contact. Cats come to my door and stay as I love them very much. However, although I am zikr uh, almost 24-7, zikr and recitation and durud, I still feel so much pain that manifests to physical pain and burning sensations in my heart and my back because I feel so lonely. How come I still feel this loneliness and pain although I am with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Prophet والسلام, Aren't such aches supposed to signal to come back to Allah? If so, why do I still feel so blue? Thank you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving an order to us saying be a jamaat. The order is to be in jamaat. The order is not to be in isolation and to be alone. And Allah is giving an order saying, be with the salihin. Be with the salihin. Be with the righteous ones. Allah is not saying to us, as our Shaykh says, to be a righteous one. Because he knows that we are very weak and he's created us like that. But he says, be with the righteous ones. Now, if you are without a shaykh, like I said before, without a guide, it is difficult for you to find a direction. You are like a traveler. The way they're describing yourself, you want to make your travel back to Allah. You want to be with Allah. Just because you're saying Allah in Salawat al-Sharif, it does not mean that you're with Allah. How I'm saying that? There are 70,000 veils between you and Allah. What are the veils that you're lifting? Just saying Allah and Allahumma Salawat al is not going to lift the veils. The veils, the thickest veils between you and Allah is your ego. If you are not understanding that there is a veil, the ego, and you have to remove the ego, it doesn't matter how much zikr you are making, the veil is still there, and you are still not with your Lord, with your Prophet. You are missing out one step though, Ibliallah, because they are the inheritors of the Prophet. Prophet is representing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who is representing the Prophet? This is someone that you have to find in your life. If you have a shah, follow your shah. If you don't have a shah, which I think by the way that you're speaking, you don't, then you have to find a shah. Then that time, try to be in his presence. That time, then ask to be in his spiritual presence. That time, even if you are physically away from, from each other, from the jamaat and from your shah, but because your heart is connected, something else is going to change. And he may even tell you that time when you have a shaykh, especially if you find a shaykh like our shaykh, he's going to say, don't make so much zikr of this. You're going to do other that. What do you do? Whole day you're going to sit down and make zikr? Stop that. You are still young, get out. Work, do something, help people, move. Because that is a doctor. And that doctor is going to tell you, you are saying, I am not smoking, I'm not drinking, but I'm taking uh, a lot of vitamin C and vitamin D and vitamin E, and I'm taking a lot of that. To you, these are good things, but to someone who knows your physical condition, he may even say, you taking all these things is causing you all these other problems. So you have to stop from doing that. You have to find a doctor of the heart. What you are describing it is a condition of the heart. You're still feeling blue. You're still feeling uh, sad. You're still feeling depressed. And the doctor is going to, if you trust that doctor, if you go to that, he's going to say, it's because of you doing this and this and this. If you trust the doctor, but you're not following his advice, it's not going to work for you either. You have to follow it, which means that you have to submit to the doctor. Then that time, you may find certain changes. That time the doctor may even say, why you want to be close to Allah? For what reason? 
What does it mean to be close to Allah? What does it mean to be close to the Holy Prophet So many people want to be close to Allah and the Prophet for a high. They get a high. Uh, how you say? They can get a drunken station. They're tripping on that. I know people who like to make zikr because they, they are tripping on the zikr. It's better than tripping on other things, but in our way, that is still a very low level of serving your Lord because there are so many other things that you need to do if you are following that one who is representing the Prophet. Sahabi Kiram, look to the Sahabis, look to the companions. What were they doing? 124,000, what were they doing? Hazrat Abu Bakr Umar Usman, Hazrat Ali, what were they doing? Were they just being with the Prophet just because they feel that they are blessed in the presence of the Prophet? Were they just sitting around and making the zikr? There were so many things that they went through. Which means whatever the Prophet was going through, they were there in the life of the Prophet The Prophet he was not living for himself, he was living for the Ummat. Following Allah's order and living for the Ummat. And taking the Ummat out from darkness to light. So yes, you have a purpose. And your purpose is not just to sit and to remember Allah that way. If you sit and you remember Allah sincerely, that time you are going to know the direction that you are going. That time you're going to say, it is not enough for me to do this. Now, according to what my share is saying, now I have to do this. I have to speak to this person. I have to help to this person. This person I have to be with, although this person is giving me a hard time, but is teaching me something about myself. I have to put myself in that condition also. So, I know you're saying you love your cats, and cats are better than humans, but they are not. Allah has not made the cat to be his halifas, he has made the humans to be his halifas. And it is nice to be with them from time to time, there is a blessing. But if you are sincerely walking in the way to find your Lord, follow the way of those who ask you no fee and who have found themselves in a safety station. Inshallah, that time even the difficulties that you feel, that you are going through, it has meaning. It is not meaningless. Uh, difficulties. It has meaning. They say, why am I going through this again? Ah, because of this. You understand. And who is saying that a spiritual way is just going to make you to feel happy and to make you to feel, uh, uh, how you say, drunk and giddy? No. You must go through difficulties. As the man who said, Ya Rasulullah, I love you. And the Prophet is saying, if you love me, then prepare yourself for hardship. Because we must, if we love the Prophet, we must love whom he loves, and we must hate whom he hates. As the Sahabi Kiram did. And that is the difficult part. Because so many, they want to love the, they want to love the Prophet, والسلام, but they want to love whom they want to love, and they want to hate whom they want to hate. Or what, or whatever it is. No, it is not like that. May Allah forgive me, inshallah. May Allah make it easy for you. May you find a guide. May you hold on to him correctly. May you find your way to Allah and the purpose that you have in this life. For all of us, inshallah, may Allah forgive me and bless you. May Allah raise the station of our Shaykh. Al-Fatiha. Assalamu alaikum wa